what is up you guys so this week's video is a little different my mom loves Louis Vuitton she loves like refurbishing she likes finding Louis Vuitton bags that are like not in the best condition and just kind of like sprucing them up and stuff so she found this bag on Etsy it was like discounted for like half price because the original owner put their initials on it so as you can imagine it was like very limited for people to repurchase this because not everybody has these initials but my mom wanted me to just put a design over it so I'm going to show you guys how to do that today it's actually not as hard as you may think I think the biggest thing is just to be confident in what you're doing it doesn't have to be on like a designer bag it could literally be on shoes or anything you want so it's super cool and it would be a great gift to give to like you know your mom I know Father's Day is coming up I'm going to show you guys how to go from something like this to this hopefully you can see So if you guys want to see how to do that, then keep on watching. So obviously you're going to need the bag that you're going to paint on. I have my utensils, so like my brushes. I don't have any specific brushes. These are just like from Amazon and like half of these are like my sisters anyways. So you don't need anything like fancy. If you can get nice brushes, that would probably be good, but I don't have that. I actually have a just random a lipstick liner like from NYX, a really cheap one that I don't use that I'm going to use later to sketch onto the bag and some cotton pads that we're going to use to remove the top layer of whatever factory gloss I put over to make the paint adhere to it. I have a white liner that I might use. I have some acetone and then I just have a matte acrylic finisher for the ends and obviously my paints. I'm using the Angelus acrylic leather paint and I almost forgot. I'm just going to use Canva to kind of prepare what I'm going to do. Replicate my design as true to what I have planned on the bag, if that makes sense. A hair dryer on like really low speed, so I have a hair dryer to dry in between layers. And you're also going to need just painter's tape to mask off the areas that you're not working in. I'll make sure to link all the stuff that I have below and everything that you'll need. What I did to flatten the surface is I just, you can see how big this bag is, but I just put two throw pillows in there and I literally just put like a hardcover book and what I'm going to do is just mask off the areas that I'm not going to paint in. I'm just going to take some photos just so that we can import this later into but I'm just gonna get a ruler and just kind of measure the dimensions. So this will be the, the dimensions of the file on Canva. Looks like it's about like 11.5 by maybe 8 I would say. So the design that I actually have on the bag, it's all inspired by work that I found on Pinterest. I recommend that you just use whatever ideas you see as inspiration because, you know, we need to not copy people. So just be original. What I did was I just went on Pinterest and I googled flower drawings. And these are just all the things that inspired me for my design. And I just took like bits and pieces to create this design. I just created a Pinterest board and butterflies. I have butterflies here. I pretty much made the design on Canva. So how earlier we measured the dimensions of the area that we're going to be putting the design, I believe it was like a letter paper size, 8.5 by 11.5 or something like that. So what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of walk through it, but you would just create it create a design and put custom dimensions and then make sure it's in inches. I would just do like 8.5 by 11.5. So that would be creating a new design. So this would be like the exact size of what you are going to be covering. And the picture that we took on our phone, but I just airdropped that image, pretty much blew it up. So this would be the size, you know, this would be the paper size, right? So you're just going to use this as like a reference point of where you're going to put everything. And then the cool thing, I actually use Canva Pro, I believe. I pay for it every month. You do not need to pay for it to do this. If you have Photoshop or anything else, just do that. I just like Canva because it's pretty user friendly. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. I wish. That'd be super cool. I love Canva. <laughs> but this is what I have access to. I'm sure if you have the free version, you have like access to a lot of these things just like it's just kind of limited but i'm going to add a new page and i want like butterflies flowers so all you're going to do is just go to elements and you can just look up butterfly you know wow that's a really nice one if they don't have it in elements you could just upload the png version or jpeg version 
of the image you want just to get like a really good crisp image so that's what i did they didn't have the image i wanted same for the flowers you could literally just upload the picture that you want you can kind of see where i was working with but this is kind of what I came up with. Um, these were just like inspiration so I just kind of used that but you're literally just going to paste it on top. So this is just a PNG that's why there's no white but I'm going to paint it white and I just put it right on top of where we're going to cover the lettering. You're going to print up three files so you're going to have that one this is just going to be your guide when you're painting later and then you're going to print up the actual finalized design just like as is um, same size. And then, last one, you would print up this the exact design with no background, but flip. Because we're going to use this to help transfer over to the material when we do like our transfer method that I'll show you. By all means, you don't have to do this. Like You could literally just like sketch whatever you want and just go straight into the bag. But I think this is really important if you really want to really get your idea like in your head and put it somewhere so you could really see it and then transferring so I highly recommend doing this if you're able to. So what I did was I just outlined with, with the white acrylic paint pen the main shape so this is what we're gonna try to mimic in reference to all the little like pattern details on the bag. What we're gonna do is like a transfer method so the one that I'm using is like the Sephora brand. I don't think we use this my sister is awkward but anyway i'm gonna use that one i'm gonna need a mechanical pencil and then a pen if you don't have an ipad it's totally fine i just kind of blew up the image to the size that i want the exact size that i want to transfer it and i'm literally just gonna trace this on my paper and mind you this is the flipped image so this is not how it's gonna look like it's gonna look flipped if you don't have an ipad you could literally just get a piece of paper and trace it on like your computer screen but for the sake of just showing you guys i'm gonna do it on the ipad hey guys so i pretty much finished the sketch and i'm super excited to do this i actually ended up getting a different lip liner but i'm basically lining the flip side which is going to be the side that is going to transfer straight to the bag before I transfer the lipstick onto the bag, I'm just removing the factory layer with 100% acetone. So I just kind of mounted it onto the bag. Mind you, the lipstick lip liner part is touching this. So this is the other side. So we're just gonna roughly kind of trace over with a pen. Do we actually know the real Jeffree Star or do we know this fabricated persona he's created? So let's just see. Fuck. <laughs> it barely transferred and I'm upset. Okay. So that transfer method was kind of a fail. So I'm reverting back to what I was originally gonna do. So I'm using that picture that we had that had the design on top of the print. And I'm just going to reference the little spots. I'm just kind of matching based on the pattern of the picture where everything is. Some of the lip liner did actually leave a mark, so I am using that as a guide along with that picture. And the color that I'm using is just this flat white acrylic paint. Now I'm just painting everything inside of our outline with the flat white, and in between coats, I'm blow drying it. If you see any like big collections of paint, um, just smooth it out with a brush. But And this is just going to be a nice base for you so that once you do start painting, the colors are as true as they can be because if you just start doing like you know yellows and stuff over um, something with no base it's not gonna look right so um, this is really crucial to have a nice clean opaque white base before you actually put the design on. I'm actually gonna go back with that paper that we had the lip liner on. It didn't really work a while ago because we were trying to transfer it on just the print without a base but I feel like now that we have that white base going for us it's gonna be a lot easier to see it so that's what i'm doing i'm just kind of like outlining everything there we go so now you can kind of see like a little bit it's probably not the best sketch but you now have like kind of like a rough idea of where everything is so now i'm gonna go back in with the uh, graphite pencil and i'm kind of referencing i have my ipad next to me and i'm just gonna reference the photo I'm gonna go in with 
this like the micron pencil and I'm going to just emphasize those sketches. So once I have the sketch outlined with the micron pencil, I'm actually going in with a black eyeliner and this is what I'm using for the line work. I don't have like a paintbrush or anything that was detailed enough and surprisingly this liner worked really beautifully. It was a NYX liner. So yeah, I would actually just continue using the eyeliner in the future because it didn't fail me at all. So Here I'm just creating the gradient color for the butterfly wings. I'm doing that by putting the flat white and just mixing with the blue color. So my camera died but all I did was I just kind of cleaned up the lines a little bit and I painted the perimeter of the butterfly with black. I need to still like outline this flower and I'm just waiting for this black to dry. Um, but we're almost done so I think I might do the insides. These might be yellow. Looking at this, I'm gonna kind of try to clean up around the butterfly. I'm going to just use the blow dryer to blow dry it and then hopefully I could start wrapping it up. My last step is I just have the matte acrylic finisher here and I just shook it up and I have a brush designated to apply the finisher. Okay you guys, so this is how it turned out. I'm just going to show you guys from the back. This is the front. This is the side that we painted. I'm really excited. I'm now going to reveal it to my mom, so just keep on watching. Is it pretty? Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope I gave someone out there the confidence to fix a bag or just be creative because honestly this was super fun. It took me about 8 hours if not more but the time went by super fast just because I was super into it and looking at the end result it was totally worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and until next week, bye, love y'all.